Blitz. Sponsored by Moxie Credit Union and Michael Rocha with Atlantic Realty. Welcome to the Blitz. I'm Frankie Tovar. What's up, Frankie? I'm Eddie Ruiz. And what's up, guys? How are you doing? And it's a Friday. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. Is it a Friday? This is the first game of a doubleheader this week, week three of the oh Blitz. Oh, my gosh. And we got Turlock versus Tracy, the Battle of the Bones, Ooh. the Battle of the Bulldogs. And which Bulldogs came out on top, Eddie? The Bulldogs came out on top, bro. I'm just kidding. That was just a joke. That was an inside joke. It was the Turlock High Bulldogs. It was the biggest lopsided victory since 2014, since they've been facing each other. They've been rivals, fierce rivals. Yeah, for quite a long time. Pretty much. And and uh, just, you know, they're not too far away. A couple of freeways or whatever. But needless to say, it was a 43-14 victory. And again, it was the biggest lopsided victory between the two. And it did get a little uh, touchy at the end, too. Because, yeah, Little just because tassy. it was it was basically Turlock dominated for majority of the, of the game. I mean, except for the first score and then the last score. So. Book in. Book in touchdowns from Tracy. You'll see that soon enough. Yeah. Um, but Turlock. A well balanced offensive attack. Straight up. And defense, too. On the ground, but I was going to say, defense yeah, all over. may have been their strongest aspect of the game. Mm -hmm. They were punching those Tracy Bulldogs in the mouth. They, they didn't let up. Um, but again, offense, we kind of focus a little bit more on offense, usually on the Blitz. We're going to get so those stats. Easy. Right now, let's get some stats going, Eddie. Turlock, you know, overall, they were close to 500 yards for the game. That's crazy That's on insane. offense. 480 to be exact. And then they held Tracy to 251. And then guess what? Three picks. So they forced that quarterback who's going to Cal Poly slow, just saying, to three picks, man. They proved it tonight. That's pretty without impressive. A doubt, not tonight, but in this game, without a doubt, they were the best team. Better yeah, team. so we, we set some we set some numbers. We mentioned some names. Yeah. Now you get to see it all live in HD. It's the Friday Night Highlights. <laughs> Opening drive of the game. Tracy with the ball. And Jacob Massey, he's in the backfield with the hit. That is a great defensive opening, but Fife isn't discouraged. The quarterback finds Drake Shrout for 20 yards in the first down, and eight plays later on fourth down, Fife dogs back in the air like an assassin, dropping it into the hands of Trevor Pope the second. 26-yard touchdown to Patrice up by seven. All right, it's okay. Turlock's not discouraged. It's just a two-play drive. That's all it's going to be. And it, well, guess what? That's the first run for Anthony Frias. A 79-yard touchdown run makes it 7-6 with 8-10 left in the first. But check this out, though. That was just such a sweet run, Frankie. We got to take it back. I want to go back. Take it back. Take it way back. Take it way back. There's the only reason we're going back. Because it's the play of the game. And as you can see, this dude has got skills. He's making everybody look slow. By the way, he had multiple touchdowns, maybe over 100 yards. I'm just saying. And he ended up being the POG. I'm just giving you a heads up, bro. POG, POG player of the game. And this is where the tide starts to shift. Fight targets his receiver, but instead, Oscar Cruz comes up with a Malcolm Butler-esque interception at Turlock's 36-yard line. The refs took a little bit, but then they said, yeah, it is an interception. That sets up a seven-play scoring drive, starting with a powerful nine-yard run from Dalton Lynn, and that's followed by a pitch-perfect screen from Pasley to Freyas. He leaps in the air, and then he gallops for a 38-yard gain. He's eventually brought down, but he's back on his feet a few plays later and into the end zone from nine yards out to extend Turlock's lead 12 to seven after a missed two-point conversion. We're already in the second. It's fine, it's chill. Brock Pasley, Turlock's got this guy. Who's got some pretty good skills? That's David Cruz, 23-yard pickup. I mean, they're all right on offense, it looks like, right? Oh, whoa, 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 Josiah Gonzalez fumbles it, but he gets it right back, or he looks like he fumbles it, bobbles it. Check this out. Asley, he's got a sweet arm. It's pretty accurate. Oh, Baldwin, hold it, Baldwin. Can't get it. Don't trip, no. We're going on the other side. And it's Baldwin this time for a 32-yard touchdown. 19-7 with 8.42 left in the second. Not looking too shabby. Turlock's actually on fire at this point. Hasley isn't finished slinging it, though, and it looks like Frias isn't finished dazzling the crowd either because he reels in this 55-yard pass on the first play of the drive, setting up his offense in the red zone and setting up his quarterback for some locker room bragging rights. Hasley rolls to his right and decides to take it in himself. Wait for it, wait for it. Boom! Oh my goodness, that's a 17-yard touchdown, and the score is now 26-7 with less than five minutes left in the half. Can you believe it? What? Oh, that's some that's dirty dancing. Nice. So under four minutes remaining until it's halftime, 
It's, it's fine though, you know, Turlock has a lot of playmakers. They got Baldwin, they got Pasley, but when they got Dolan Lynn as well, a 55 yard run and they, that guy tried to tackle him with his feet. He couldn't even get him. It's just two on fire. And Diego Angel finishes it off with a 32 yard field goal. And that's good, 29-7. That is your halftime score. It's a new half, but the same attack from Turlock. That is a five yard pickup from Freyas. And this is a 42 yard pickup and a touchdown from the senior running back. Doesn't this guy get tired? Oh my goodness. He's looking at nothing but daylight and Turlock is now looking at a 36 to seven lead. So we're in the third quarter. Logan Fife, this guy's going to Cal Poly slow. That's what I was told. It's chill. Turlock, their defense is pretty nasty. Christian Cruz making it look easy. He had two picks, by the way. I'm just saying. And Miguel Pena, it's just a one play drive. That's it, 48 yard touchdown. 43-7, that's gonna. That's basically the last touchdown for Turlock. Oh, fire, man. Yeah. 43 on answer The points. game is all but over at this point, but give Tracy some credit. They're still playing hard, hard enough to recover a fumble deep inside Turlock territory. It looks like Tyler Sosito got that one, and that sets up a final score of the game, an 11-yard touchdown pass to Blake Bullbreak for the final score, 43-14. to The Battle of the Bone is finished. All right, so following that game, check it out. The series is now four and four, but I mean, that's since 2014 and that's playoffs included. It's also including playoffs. Exactly. In the regular season, Trillock leads four to two, but in the playoffs, Tracy has dominated 2-0. So let's see if maybe Trillock and Tracy face each other again in the playoffs this season for the tiebreaker. You never know, we've seen crazier things. Now, before we talk more about this matchup, let's first recognize our sponsors, Moxie Credit Union and Michael Rocha of Atlantic Realty. Are you looking for a loan or even you, Frankie? I think I am. A toy loan, auto loan, home loan, and any sort of loan. So if you're not looking for one, if I'm not looking for one, we still, we should be looking for one and you should be looking for one too. Look no further, check out Moxie Credit Union and let them know that the Blitz sent you. Eddie mentioned home loans just a second ago. And if you're looking for a home out there, there's one person you need to contact, Michael Rocha with Atlantic Realty. Whether you're a buyer or a seller, Michael Rocha will assist you every step of the way. He's on Facebook and Instagram, so you can find out all the properties he has listed. As a buyer's agent, he'll make your ideal home a reality. And as a seller's agent, he'll get you top dollar for your home. Cha-ching! I tell you, you gotta contact Michael Rocha of Atlantic Realty right now. Now. All right, so we cannot move on without mentioning or highlighting a couple of the guys, man, because they didn't just have one or two standouts, Turlock. They had multiple standouts. Victory by committee. Absolutely. One of them was Dalton Lynn. I mean, the guy had 74 yards on 10 carries. Talk about helping out your teammates and the other running back, Anthony Frist, which we're going to mention. And then the quarterback, though, Ooh, you know, Brock. Pasley, man, Brock Pasley, 5 of 11, 157 yards. And those were crucial big throws, oh, by absolutely. the way. Just saying. Then he had two touchdowns, a rushing touchdown and a passing touchdown looked pretty nice. I like the way Brock was standing tall in the pocket, even rolling out of the pocket when he needed to, hitting his targets with accuracy, and then he had that fantastic run. He flattened that defender for the touchdown, but if there's one thing I like more than stellar quarterback play, it's hard-nosed defensive play, and the Bulldogs of Turlock brought it. They were led by the one-handed man himself, Jacob Masihi. He was game. tearing it up from the interior. He had help from Michael Fram, and then of course, on the edge, Tamir Bullock. They, uh, they were getting it done. They were inspiring the offense, and I'm sure it's gonna carry over. Another defensive player, though, doing really well. He had sacks, he had tackles for losses. Yeah. We're talking Anthony Frias, what a great contributor on defense and obviously also on offense, Eddie. Yeah, sure he did. And then just a quick shout out to Jaden Jackson because he had a great game as well. A lot of guys did, but I'm it's just saying. It's hard to name everybody. <laughs> Jackson knows what's up, he knows that we he like him, man. Up. But Anthony Frias, man, without a doubt, the player of the game, I mean, like you said it too, multiple tackles for loss, which we saw him flying everywhere. He had a sack to end the first half. The kid had 138 yards rushing on nine carries, three touchdowns, two catches, 93 yards. Dude, that's a lot of yards. I'm just saying, bro. That's that's a great a output. And yeah. so, of course, he's the player of the game. And check it out. We have a time machine, and we're going to kick it out to Angelina Martin, who's what? on the field with uh, Anthony Frias. Lucky. All right, thanks, Frankie Nutty. I am here with the man of the hour, player of the game, Anthony Frias. Mm -hmm. Anthony, I lost count tonight. How many touchdowns did you have? There's three. Two, three touchdowns, yeah. Three touchdowns tonight. 
blowing it up offensively, and you guys won the Battle of the Bone against Tracy High. Yeah. Uh, what does this win tonight mean for you guys, especially after you lost last week? Yeah, well, it means a ton for us. You know, we just came, we kind of thought too much of ourselves against Claim Valley, and they came and popped us in the mouth, and they were really aggressive. We weren't ready for that. And I think, though, that this week, this practice that we've had was just a whole different tone. We were a whole new team. Everyone just didn't want to let well last week happen, happen this week. And, you know, we were all just focused, and my old line came through for me, and I got those holes, and I was able to execute on them. Yeah, now Tracy is a top-ranked team as well. Um, what was your guys' plan offensively coming into the game? Um, our plan offensively was to just pound the ball more, get a couple of our traps working, and, you know, that worked well. And then we had our, our guy Holden right there, and he had a couple – there was a couple missed – passes but you know he did his routes and they were all right there so I think then again we should just work on that and we'll be fine. What were you guys doing defensively? You guys held them to those first seven points mm -hmm. with the first string defense in the game. Um, how did you guys keep them to those seven points? Uh, we were just trying to keep them in the box you know our outside linebackers make sure they stay in there and we and if we need help we already had some schemes for our corner DBs to just come in and fill right up so we we're fine. Yeah and you had that massive run for a touchdown I think it was your second <laughs> of the game. Yeah. Um, what was going through your mind on that play? Oh just keep running don't let him catch me. You know, I don't want to get caught from behind. So I just saw the touchdown. I just want to go get it. Look like gold. Yeah. How do you guys hope that this uh, win is going to propel you into next week against Sheldon? Oh, I think it's going to really motivate us. We're coming in hot. We feel hot. We feel ready. And we really got a chip on our shoulder for Sheldon. You know, we're going to bring it to them, and I'm sure they're going to bring it to us. But we're ready this year. I feel, and this practice will be you no know, like no other. Yeah. Well, congrats on the win. Back to you guys. And next up for the Bulldogs is Sheldon High, a tough matchup for sure. As of this recording, Sheldon is 1-1. One and one. Uh, Their last win came by a forfeit win. I don't really know the details of that. But regardless of what the record is, Sheldon program. is a tough team, and Turlock knows that firsthand. Eddie, how do you feel about that matchup coming up? You know, if Turlock plays this way, without a doubt, any team that I want to say kind of lingers around the top 100 or around there, as far as the state's concerned, because we see the rankings, right? I think Turlock has a very good chance if oh, yeah. they play like this, man. And Coach uh, Peterson pretty much felt confident as well. Jaden did too. Uh, everyone, Anthony felt confident too when we talked to them. But without a doubt, this is a Sheldon team that is year in and year out for the most part. I mean, we're talking top 100 in California. Remember, there's over a thousand schools in California to be top 100 that is insane that is very good and they're usually around there Turlock's kind of sometimes just outside of it it's just going to be a very difficult game Turlock's no stranger to Sheldon though but they know what's up even though this is the first Turlock episode of the Blitz we you know we covered Turlock we talked to them before Absolutely. the season even starts Some of and a lot last of year. players before the season started they circled Sheldon on their calendar they said that was the team we want to face we want to beat them we'll see how they come out when they, they host them, yeah. Joe Debley, another home game. Fun game. I but think. check it out. We were originally going to be there, uh -huh. but we're not going to be there anymore. We have a change to the schedule, but we're not going to tell you exactly who we'll be covering. Instead, you'll have to tune into tomorrow's episode for that because, again, this is a doubleheader week, oh and God. we'll be covering Hillmar at Gustine. Stay champs. Tomorrow, Friday night, Stay it's champs. bound to be a fantastic matchup of country towns. Corn fed boys on the gridiron, getting it done, slapping shoulder pads, clashing helmets. I mean, Eddie, I know you'll have to watch Hillmar play. I do, man, and I'm speechless. I almost didn't even know what to say right now because Hillmar, the defending state champions, baby. Is there anything more to say? They're currently undefeated, Are, right? Yeah, and I'm just saying, I mean, can you be any more excited, especially if you're a Yellow Jacket representative, a fan, an alumni, anything with Hillmar ties or related? Tune in tomorrow to find out how Hillmar against Gustine. Of course, you can find that episode, this episode, and all other past episodes of The Blitz at TurlockJournal.com. And if social media is more your thing, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, you, you can, can find, find us at Turlock Journal. So until tomorrow, I'm Frankie Tovar. I'm Eddie Ruiz. Good night.